In this video, we'll learn how we can use Ctrl D feature like VS Code in Notepad++. Uh, Ctrl D is a multiple cursor feature which allows you to select multiple part of your code simultaneously and added them. So here is an example. I have a reverse function in a for location. I can use Ctrl D feature to select all of them simultaneously and added them. And so this is a demo. Uh, of what we are going to achieve in this video. So let's get started. So what is Control D feature? Now many advanced text editor like Notepad++ or VS Code or, or Atom or Sublime Text allows you to have multiple cursor in your code. And so you can add it to your code simultaneously on different parts of the code. But in Notepad++ this Control D feature is not available. And uh, so this video will we will learn how you can easily enable that. Now you might wonder why do you need this feature? So let's say you have a, a name of a variable that you have been using and then later on you decide to change the name. Now you can always use search and replace but sometimes search and replace all can have a negative or something. Uh, it can change something that you probably not intended. And so just visually looking at the selection is always handy and easy. And so control D would allow you exactly to do that. And so let's quickly install and we'll try to use it. So first of all, in order to enable this feature, you will need to install a plugin called Lua script. It's actually basically Lua script uh, that if you guys are familiar with. So let me open my notepad plus plus. Let's go to plugins and let's go to plugins admin and just simply just search for Lua script. And it should show up right here. You can see it. Again, if you want to learn more about it, you just go to this GitHub page and just learn. But it is a pretty powerful uh, scripting language. So we'll enable this and then we'll click install. And Notepad++ will restart. <clears throat> so once it's restarted, the plugin should be installed. If you go into plugins folder, uh, you can see that Lua script is right here. Now, in order to enable the Control D feature, you have to add a script in a startup. And so I'm going to actually give you guys a, a, a script uh, that you need to paste it into that startup. And so a quick uh, credit, uh, actually I got this script from the community.notepad++.org. This is an official forum for Notepad++ and I found this script in one of the question and so credit to the to this community okay so uh, I'm going to link this in uh, my github page uh, I know number of uh, users have asked for uh, some of the code that I share uh, during my videos and so I have created a github page and I'm going to link that into my uh, my description of this video so make sure you check that out uh, but right here, this is my YouTube channel. All the files, I'm actually updating more and more. But but the files that I use, I usually try to put it here so that you can download and test it out yourself. So here is the startup.lua script. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to select this. Oops. Uh, select this entire script. Copy. By the way, you can also download it if you need to. Uh, but just click on the raw and then select all and then just copy this okay and let's go to notepad plus plus and go to plugins go to lua script and click edit startup script so it should be empty as you can see and i'm going to just simply paste what i have copied right oops sorry control v and i'm going to save this okay so now that i have this startup uh, Lua script which actually enables that control D feature. Uh, we need to one more do one more thing to make sure that the multiple cursor is selected. And so for that we will go to settings, preferences and editing. Okay? So let's go back, go to settings, preferences and click on editing. And there is a, a thing that you need to enable, so there's a checkbox for enable multi editing. Uh, and the way in which you select is by pressing control and a mouse click and so i'm going to click this click or close and now we need to restart notepad plus plus so that uh, the script that we just enabled uh, should take place okay so i'm going to close 
and I'm going to open my Notepad++ again. All right. So now I think that script that we have had in uh, Lua script should be enabled. Now one thing we need to do is we need to enable the Control D shortcut. Now if you're familiar with Notepad++, Control D in Notepad++ already have a uh, a sort of a sh shortcut which is duplicate the line so if I press control D here you can see that the cursor was here it copied this line and so I don't want to overwrite the existing functionality and so what we can do is instead of control D we can assign a shortcut control shift alt D uh, this is most unlikely uh, uh, there shouldn't be any use for this shortcut so this might make it a little easier all right so let's try to assign Control shift alt d shortcut uh, to this uh, feature that we just added so let's go to notepad plus plus again go to settings go to shortcut mapper and then you can search uh, for for a particular functionality so actually if you look at uh, the script that we just added in the shortcut uh, in the startup uh, there are two shortcuts that we have added multiple cursor select and add next and then multiple cursors select add all okay uh, it might sound strange to you but you it will start to make sense pretty soon so let's go to start settings go to shortcut mapper and let's just search for multiple cursor um, it should show up in plugins yep so if you look at this tab uh, there are different shortcuts that you can assign so if you click on plugin commands you will see these two uh, shortcuts that we have added using that Lua script. So I want to assign Control Shift Alt plus D into this. And so if I double click on this, and I can select Control Alt Shift and then D. Okay. Uh, it says conflict found uh, because I have another plugin, but uh, I think it should be okay. I'm going to click OK and use this. Um, so now we have assigned this plugin uh, a shortcut and click close. All right, so let's try and see if it actually works. So let's go to this file. I have this a very simple C code. And let's say I have a, a, a function called reverse sentence, which basically reversing a sentence. And let's say I choose to change the name of this function. And so I can press Control Shift D And as I press this Control Shift D multiple times, it selects all the all or, or the next instances of this particular word. And so now that I have selected all of them, let's say I would like to change the name. I'll say reverse sentence. And you can see I am able to add it this at a multiple location. So again, if I try it, I select or I keep my cursor where I would like to sort of re, uh, rename and I'm going to press Control shift d one two three and four and in fact if you look at these days are uh, these cursor right here one two three and four so there are multiple cursor and now it allows me to edit this okay so I can do reverse yeah, maybe just have a reverse as a name. Okay, So you can see that I am able to add it multiple location. Let's try another example. So I have this JavaScript file. And again, I would like to change this character, which is one, two, three, and four places, uh, and maybe change it to something else. So I'm going to keep my cursor there. Control Shift D, one, two, three, and four. And I can say instead of characters, it's chars. And there you go. You can see it change it at every location. Let's try another one. Maybe this length of character. So I do Control Shift D, and then I say char length. So you can see it can change uh, uh, the name of the variable or name of any words multiple location. We'll try one more time. So this is an HTML file, and let's say you have a particular tag. And you later on decide, well, this is not what I wanted. I wanted to maybe use, a, you know, instead of list item, unordered list. Now, of course, you can do search and replace, but this seems to be faster. 
So if I do control shift D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I can simultaneously add this by just simply typing it one time. And so you can see it can save you a lot of time uh, when you use this. And it also gives you sort of a visual display so it, you know what you're changing rather than trying search and replace and it might end up changing something else. All right. So coming back to our uh, our documentation, uh, we have learned how you can enable it using a Lua script plugin. And then uh, we just enable the starter script, uh, which I have already shared. So make sure you find that and then uh, use it. And then we assign Control Shift Alt D. By the way, you can also use Control D, but then you will lose the feature that Notepad++ has. And so I prefer not to change that, but it's up to you. Uh, and then we also learn how we can actually uh, use a keyboard shortcut to add it or rename multiple uh, text uh, in different location. Now I'm going to uh, post a new video about multiple cursor which goes into a lot more other functionality. Uh, but check out um, uh, my channel page or, or make sure that you subscribe uh, and hopefully you will get that uh, pretty soon. All right, so I hope you learned something new. Uh, uh, this is a pretty cool feature in Notepad++ and comes pretty handy if you are doing a lot of renaming. And so make sure that you enable that and you use that. Uh, by the way, this is just a one-time thing. So once you enable that, you should be able to use it, you know, anytime later on. And so I hope you like this video. If you did, please click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel. I post a new video about Notepad++ and programming in general. And so if you like the content, uh, make sure that you subscribe. All right. Thank you.